This section is devoted to Deep Web and the Darknet. There is a large web content which is hosted on the servers with the use of internet but requires specific software configuration or authorization to access. That being said, it's also paradise for those who really really like their privacy and aren't fans of any kind of interference. It is commonly used for those under strict governments that control free speech and employ heavy regulations. So is it separate from the open web? More or less, yes. The data itself still uses the same channels, but the walls of encryption put a clear division between open web content and the darknet. You cannot hop onto your favorite browser and visit dark side anytime you want, for instance. Traditional search engines like Google also tend not to index or show any dark web content for a variety of reasons. But how is the dark web different from the deep web? Well, these terms are sometimes used interchangeably, but there is a significant difference. The deep web refers to all parts of the web that are hidden away from the average user and are not indexed by the average search engines. This includes an immense amount of data, internal copies of various web pages and anything that you need an access code to reach. Why do people use Tor to access the dark web? Here are the three main reasons why. First, to be anonymous. There are reasons why someone may want to protect their online identity. In some cases, this is because they would be in danger if their identity became known. For example, in countries where the government forbids a free press, where there is a political censorship, or where people are concerned about online security. Second, to access hidden services. Hidden service is one where not only the user, but also the website itself has their anonymity protected by Tor. This means that the IP address of the site cannot be identified, thanks to that hiding information about its host, location or content is provided. Tor is not a hidden service, but the site it hosts are. Third, for illegal activity. The dark web may be used by people to carry out illegal activities online, such as selling weapons or drugs. Using Tor or visiting the dark web are not unlawful activities in themselves but it is against the law to carry out illegal acts via such portals. For example, a study in 2014 found that nearly 60% of hidden services in the darknet contained illegal content such as drugs, weapons and stolen goods and pornography. How to access the darknet? It is really easy. You can just do it in three steps. So what are the challenges of Darknet and Deep Web? Advantages include one of the strongest ways to explore cyberspace and preserve all privacy. Secondly, much larger unsolved network of information. Thirdly, access to a large database of records. Disadvantages include anonymity that Darknet provides allows also all cyber criminals to perform various hacks undetected. Secondly, it is a very unstable environment, which means that most of the attempts to induce legislation will go in vain. Thirdly, huge black market operations happen through Darknet, which includes even child pornography. <laughs>